You have got some serious nerve. Do you realize that? Honestly, just who do you think you are? I want you to tell me exactly why I'm not allowed back in my own parents' house. And just when did you move in there and start living with them, huh? I don't recall that ever being a thing. Serena, what is this all about? I'm afraid I really don't have a clue. I am talking about my parents' house. That house is my house. Do you get that? How dare you just waltz in there, as if you own the place? I mean, you even dared to take over my own bedroom. And now I can't even go back there to live with them. I want you out of that house right now. Do you hear me? Sorry, so you're wanting to move back in with your parents right now? Is that what's happening? But I thought you had moved to New York last spring, right? You bragged at the last family dinner about how you had landed some really amazing job, and they were going to set you up out there, right? I know what I said, thank you very much. But I quit that job, and I am never, ever going back. I just want to live with my parents in my hometown. And that's that, okay? You quit your job? But you really just started it, didn't you? I know that. I just started it. But I hated it with a passion, and I despised New York City. Why do you think I'm coming back and wanting to move back in in the first place? But imagine my horror when I found out that you and my brother have moved in with my parents since I moved out. I don't even remember giving you permission to live there or use my room, Emma. I want to move back in there because what's the point of paying rent in some place when you can just live with your parents and not have to worry about anything? Oh, Serena, I'm really sorry. I thought that Carter would have informed you that we were moving in already. But yeah, we all agreed to do this after you moved out for your job in the big city. Well, now I'm moving back. So you and Carter can go ahead and pack up all your stuff because you are both moving out. So get out and give me back my room immediately. Serena, please. You can't be serious about that. I mean, we did so much in preparation for this. You can't just declare that you're moving back and expect everyone to adjust for you. Do you know how difficult it's going to be for us to do what you want? You think you're going to be inconvenienced by this? What about me? I quit my job. I'm unemployed. Don't you understand? I have no job and no house to live in. If you don't want to move out, then the least you can do is pay my rent in the new place. You really think we're just going to pay for a whole apartment that we aren't living in? Well, if you don't like it, then you know what you have to do. Emma, are you there? I really am sorry to disturb you like this while you're at work. But I have something that I urgently need to talk to you about. You didn't by any chance happen to get some messages from Serena, did you? Ugh, yes. We were actually just having a heated conversation not that long ago, if you really want to know. <clears throat> she told me that she was going to be moving back in and that she demanded us out of the house. She said that if we didn't want to do that, then we could just pay her rent for where she's at now. I can't believe that she would do something like this. She's being so unreasonable. Ah, oh, Emma, I am so sorry that you're having to deal with this. My sister has never really been good at accepting anything other than her way. You can say that again. I mean, I was totally shocked when she started sending me those messages. She can't seriously expect us to just pack up and leave at the snap of her fingers like this, right? I thought that she was just so thrilled to start her job in New York. I have no clue what happened or what made her want to come back. I know it really is all so sudden. I actually just heard about it from Serena right now. And even I'm stunned. I didn't even see this coming at all. I remember when she told everyone about the job. She was so ecstatic that she said she was never, ever going to come back home. She said she was going to be a city girl from then on out. That's why your parents came to us in the first place. They thought this would be a great opportunity for them to spend more time with their eldest son. But I had no idea that we would only have such a brief time to live in the house before being asked by Serena to leave. I know what you mean. 
Something must have happened that really disappointed her with whatever it was that drove her to New York in the first place. I really did think that this was something that she wanted to do though. So I wonder what must have happened. Do you have any idea what it could have been at all? She was eager to leave, but now she seems so desperate to come back. Well, the thing about Serena is that around these parts, she's really smart and beautiful, right? She was actually always talking. Ever since she was little about wanting to go to the big city and make it big. But I guess that maybe she was just overwhelmed by how many kinds of different people there are in a place like that. Maybe she realized that her smarts and looks wouldn't take her as far there as they had here. And she got a bit scared. Or maybe there was something about the job that just made her really want to quit and come home. You really think that's what it could have been? That she just got her ego hurt a little? I really have no idea what it is with her. But I guess now that she's made up her mind, do you think you can move out of the house? Maybe? Wait, what? Carter, please tell me you're kidding, right? Of course, I'm not going to just move out of the house. That's absurd. I literally got a new job just so you and I could move out here together. Remember? I know, but it's just, well, it's kind of out of our control now, really. I tried telling Serena that this was our home now, but she just wasn't hearing it at all. So I think you just don't really have a choice anymore. So you're really telling me that I need to move out of the house to make room for your sister? Your parents begged for you and me to come and live with them. And now you're saying you want to end it? I get that Serena is feeling down, but this is all just so rude. It isn't fair at all. Oh, come on now, Emma. Don't be such a crybaby about this. It's not like anyone is forcing you to do anything. I just ask if you could move out. That is all. And that's still super rude of you. I mean, how could you even ask me that? I know, I know. But neither of us had any idea that Serena was going to come back, right? We thought that she was going to be in New York for the rest of her life. But now she's not. Besides... Just think of how lonely my dad is without his daughter around. Don't you dare start with me, Carter. I was totally opposed to moving in with your parents this whole time, but you kept pushing me to do it over and over again. Even your dad told you to let it go, since he could see that I didn't want to do it. You even promised to do all the housekeeping if I did agree to move in with your parents. But instead, I've been doing most of it all the time. Okay, I get it already. I was just asking because I thought you might say yes if it was from me. But I'm sorry for even bringing it up. I really didn't think that you would lose it on me like this is all. What do you mean? Why are you trying to act as if I'm in the wrong for not wanting to move out? Because this is my little sister coming back to live with the family. But I guess I'll just have to tell her that you're rejecting to move out and that she'll just have to wish for good luck finding a place to live. I'm sure that that will solve this whole situation, don't you think? Carter, why are you doing this? You're really making me feel guilty about just not wanting to move away for this? When are you going to do as I say and finally move out, huh? Do you have any idea just how much trouble you've been putting me through? Everything that's gone wrong in my life, it's all your fault. My fault? Are you kidding me? Just how do you figure that, huh? It's not just me that you're causing trouble for, though. I mean, do you think my mom and dad would really prefer to live with some woman they hardly know versus their own daughter? You need to read the room and recognize that you're not wanted here at all. Hurry up, get the picture, and move out already. Everyone here must just be so worried about you. I hear all about how they are making every effort to go and visit you. They're even cooking and cleaning for you. Isn't that right? And when they do get back from your apartment, they all treat me like I'm to blame for them having to go back and forth from the house. I've been told that I'm just being cruel for making you live like that when all I want to do is not have to move again. Well, I guess if people are telling you that, then I guess it would be better to listen to them, huh? Can't you see that everyone wants you out of here already? It would make everything easier for everyone if you were gone. And even your own brother is starting to go back on his word even more. 
and making me do more and more of the housework. And even though he's cooking for me as well, I've been getting more and more instant noodles. And that's it. You know, your dad won't even look me in the eye anymore. Carter said that none of this is going to stop until I've moved out. I don't have any other friends in this family at all. Everyone is blaming me for this. Well, maybe that's because it's all your fault, Emma. If you would just move out of the house, then all of this would come to an end. I mean, are you really so lazy that having to do your own housework and cooking is all that upsetting for you? You don't contribute anything at all while you leech off my family and you think you have the right to complain? I have no idea how you were raised, but you really need to get a grip on reality if you think this is okay. Hold on a second. You think that I'm being a leech on your family? Well, of course you are. You refuse to move out, do any chores or cooking. Meanwhile, you eat all the food and sleep in a bed under their roof. What else do you call that but a leech? A freeloader? And everyone knows it too, because you're taking from everyone. When are you going to wake up and realize that nobody wants you around? You have no idea what you're talking about at all. I have no idea where everyone is being so cruel to me. I am sick and tired of your complaints. Just shut up and leave already. I mean, why haven't you moved out already? Oh, don't you worry. I'm going back to my parents' house right now. I can't deal with this anymore. Well, good riddance, I say. It's about time you left my family alone. And now that you're finally gone, I get to go back to my life with my family. But I'll never get back the time that you stole from me. At least I'll be able to rest and relax without having to worry about you ever coming back. I just hope that you've packed all your stuff with you. Oh, don't you worry about that. In fact, if I were you, I would start cleaning up your apartment to make room for your family. Just what is that supposed to mean? Why in the world would I need to get an apartment ready for my family? I'm going to live with them, remember? Except that I'm actually in the process of selling your house right now. So I'm afraid that your family won't have anywhere else to live. You all better start looking for a new place. Oh wait, what? Seriously? What are you even talking about? What do you mean? You sold my family's house? That doesn't make any sense. Do you have the right to do that? I mean, I know you're upset that you're getting thrown out, but there's no need to make up a huge lie like this. I'm not lying about anything, Serena. It was my name on the house's deed. You see? This still doesn't make any sense at all. Why would your name be on the house's deed? You really don't pay attention to anything that goes on with your family that doesn't concern you, do you? I took over the deed to the house from the moment Carter and I moved in with them. In fact, it was your family that forced me to do that. If you really want to know, I'm confused. Why would they do that? Why would they want your name on the deed? It all goes back to when we moved in. You see, Carter had been begging me to go along with it and even offered to do all of the housework if I agreed. He told me that I wouldn't have to do any more work if we did this, and I trusted him. But then he started to scream, scratch away at his promise, bit by bit. What do you mean by that? What did he do? Well. First, everyone was so grateful that I had finally agreed. But then, Carter said that we would need to buy a new washing machine to fit all of our clothes in. Then, he said that we would need to get a brand new fridge to fit enough food for us all. And bit by bit, we started buying all new things for the house. In the end, we must have spent over $100,000 upgrading the house. Hold on a second. You've spent over a hundred thousand dollars on the house? That's right. I told him that I wanted his parents to pay me back for some of that money, but he suggested I just put my name on the deed of the house and call it even. I told him that that was taking it too far and that surely we could think of something else. But he just kept insisting until you finally agreed just to take over the house? I really didn't think that he was going to go along with it. But I guess he really didn't want to have him or his parents pay me back that much money. He pretended to be so sad about losing the house. But I could tell that he just thought he was getting a great deal. 
I don't believe it. Why would he do something so stupid? I didn't even sign off on it in the end, but they had basically done all the paperwork needed. And one day when I got home from work, Carter said that all I needed to do was sign. I was sick of arguing with him over it, so I just agreed to it then and there. He told me that now we were even for all the appliances, except they made me continue to pay for all of the utilities. I've even been the one buying groceries for everyone. I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. I had no idea that you had invested money into our family home. Not only that, but then Carter started to make me do more and more of the housework. So I had to pay more and do more around the house, all while I was still going to work. I was already starting to get to the end of my wits when all of a sudden this happened, and your family started treating me even worse. But when I realized that no one was going to stand up for me anymore, I knew what I had to do. And by that you mean you signed the house back over to my parents, right? Oh, no. Nothing like that at all. Emma, what in the world is happening here? I just got a call from Serena. And she told me that you informed her that you were putting our house on the market. Have you lost your mind? If you really wanted to leave us for good, you could have just handed over the house to us. You don't have to get rid of it. Well, I did consider doing that for a brief moment. But then I decided to go ahead and sell the house anyway. Because, you see, I felt like I had every right to do so. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that you all drove me to the edge where I had no hesitation about selling the house behind your backs. So, I hope you enjoy looking for a new place to stay. You can't do this to us. It's not fair. How can you be so cruel? Do you have any clue what you've been putting me through? You pleaded with me to move in with your parents when you knew how much I hated the idea. And then you acted like I was a burden for not wanting to move out. I can't bear the thought of spending another day in this house with any of you. Emma, please, just wait. We can talk about this, can't we? You have to know that I'm so, so sorry for everything that happened until now. I really had no idea that you felt this way. I'm sorry for making you move in with my family. But you don't have to do this. It's too late. I've already made up my mind. And I'm going to sell the house. I don't care what you say to me. Or how many times you beg for forgiveness. Is this about money? We can pay you back for all the things that you bought. I swear, we can. You just have to give us some time, that's all. I don't want to listen to you. And that won't change how angry I am with you. Now, if you don't mind, I have better things to do than talk in circles with you. I can't believe that you actually had the nerve to kick my entire family out of their own house. They're all squeezed inside my minuscule apartment now, and it's all because of your selfish actions. Aww, did you finally get to see your precious family after so long? I'm so thrilled for you all. The least you could have done is to cover all of their moving expenses. Do you have any clue how costly it was for them to pack up and leave? I have already wasted more than enough of my hard-earned money on them. I certainly have no intention of giving them a single penny more. Please, you have to do something to help them find a new place. I can't stand being in such a crowded and uncomfortable space. I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, that really doesn't sound like something I should worry about at all. I guess you'll all just have to get off your lazy butts and start working and saving until you can afford a decent place to live. But this isn't fair. I quit my job because I despise working and just wanted to live with my family and have them pamper me. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. A short time after that, Carter and I put an end to our marriage about a week after my final conversation with Serena. Carter's entire family came to my door and pleaded with me to forgive them for their mistreatment of me. I told them that I wasn't going to discuss anything with them until the divorce papers were officially signed by both of us. 
After Carter reluctantly did so, I told him that I would need a few days to think about what to do next. I was only on a month-to-month -month lease at that place, and I used those precious few days to pack up all my belongings and move to my real new house in the neighboring city. I managed to get myself as far away from Carter and his family as possible before they caught on to what I was doing. I changed my phone number and took every precaution I could to make sure they would never track me down again.